Hi everybody, my name is Estelle Tracy. I'm a chocolate addict and food blogger and I recently committed to a 37 chocolates challenge, which means that I will be sampling 37 US made chocolates by my 37th birthday on Halloween of 2015. What well, is officially the end of my challenge and for, for my 36th and 37th reviews today, I feel very honored to be tasting two bars made by MAP Chocolate, which is a very special craft chocolate maker. Now, a few words about MAP Chocolate. MAP Chocolate is based in Eugene, Oregon, and was started by a lady named Mackenzie. And I found out about MAP Chocolate from Instagram. I really was drawn to Mackenzie's sense of aesthetics. Um, I really like the picture, really love her captions. To me, that was very pretty and beautiful without being precious. From there, I went to mapchocolate.com and I read the chocolate descriptions and to me, they read just like pure poetry. I just couldn't stop reading the website. I read the about page. It was beautiful. I read the product description. They were wonderful. And I knew right then that I would be featuring those bars, a couple of her bars at the end of my challenge. There is something more than chocolate in, um, in what Map Chocolate uh, does. So now about these bars, the first one I have for today's video is uh, Dear Mr. Finley. It is a 68% cacao made uh, with beans from Tumbes in Peru. Then the second I have is called Le Chocolat Show. And this is actually your birthday present by Mackenzie. So thank you very much, Mackenzie. And it is made with, uh, it's 78% um, cacao made with beans from Honduras. This one has a very special story, which I'll get to in uh, just a moment. So the thing you'll notice with Map Chocolate is how beautiful the wrappers are. Uh, dear Mr. Finney, you have some eggs on the wrapper because William Finney was actually a filmmaker with a passion for birds. And then the second one, Le Chocolat Chaud. Le Chocolat Chaud means hot chocolate in uh, French. And you have a map of Paris, which I really, I think is so wonderful. Then just for fun, this is the night swimming bar. I won't review this one, but this is a map of the sky on this one. I, I love this. I just love it. So um, both of these bars are made of three ingredients, cacao beans, cane sugar, as well as cocoa butter, and all the ingredients are certified organic. Now, when you open, you open those wrappers, uh, the chocolate you'll, f you'll see is actually wrapped in a parchment paper, and I want you to take a moment to just enjoy the beauty of these bars. This is the night swimming. It is a dark milk chocolate, so it's lighter in color, but this is what all map chocolate looks like. I think it's just gorgeous. So, all right. So dear Mr. Finley, I have a little bite here. Now, what I like about this chocolate is a texture that is smooth without being too smooth that you feel uh, the, the integrity of the cacao is preserved. Um, I love the the brightness of the flavor. The front of the bar says that it has uh, notes of lemon and bird song. For me, it's it tastes, and that's very personal, but like a very sweet raspberry. Does taste, taste like summer to me. It's joyful. The brightness lingers in the mouth. The flavors are really balanced. It's, it's um, just the right amount of sugar to really showcase the bean. It's a very happy, um, beautiful chocolate. Now next, le chocolat chaud. Now le chocolat chaud, there is a whole world built around this bar. Uh, and this is a bar with a very nice story. So this is supposed to remind you of the last bits of hot of chocolate at the bottom of uh, a hot chocolate, hot chocolate cup. And um, let me read a, a little bit of the story of this uh, of this bar. So every bar from Map Chocolate comes with a little description, a little about um, Map Chocolate on top, and then followed by more specifics around each bar. So this one, um, the lowly Honduran bean, this chocolate was crafted from arrived in a half full juice sack, the missing half of which I truly hope was put to good use. But take note, this is no eat bean or a bean of the moment, not a rockstar cacao in the list and not one you'll find stacked on a grocery store shelf. 
There is nothing haute or boutique about it, which makes it all the more wondrous. Now, I don't know for you, but I feel very, I love, I love that this obviously is going to stand out. So we find out in which way. So this is how dark that piece of chocolate is. Very, very dark. Now, in the mouth. Now, texture is similar to Dear Mr. Finney. The flavor is like nothing I've had in chocolate so far. It starts very mellow. It's, um, you start in the expected, what you expect the dark, a dark chocolate to, to taste like. It's dark, dark, dark chocolate. And then you get hit by what Mackenzie on mapchocolate.com refers to as earthiness. For me, it's very, it, it's almost provocative. Um, not it's not aggressive but it's really taking you in a place that you're not seeing coming from this piece of dark chocolate and it's it's a confusing taste it's not unpleasant but it makes you stop in your track and I know I know what she means here by saying this is no it be no it's not and I'm so touched that a craft chocolate maker like her has taken such a risk by featuring a bar, featuring a, a cacao with such a broken history. You see that half of the, the bag of beans, she had actually said that by email to me, Mackenzie, um, you know, I feel that this chocolate actually carries it, its story with it. You know, you have that half, half of the beans lost on the way to Oregon. And then this really... This is reminding you, this is, again, uh, when I'm reading here, this is the stuff that takes the worst of times and melts them into warm memories. That's exactly it. For me, this is, this is kind of a piece of art, really. This is something that's meant to stir you. It's not supposed to make you feel, you know, to, you're not supposed to like or dislike this bar. This is supposed to stir you and take you places. Um, I feel with this bar, with the chocolat show, Mackenzie has really put her sensitivity as an artist into a piece of chocolate. So beautiful, Mackenzie. So you'll find these bars at mapchocolate.com. This one, the chocolat show, re retails for ten dollars. The stock is going to be pretty limited. Mr. Finney is um, eight dollars. Um, there, each of them is three ounce bar. Um, I really, really hope you give these bars a try. I am so grateful that my journey took took me to Map Chocolate and I got to virtually meet Mackenzie. You're doing a beautiful job and it's been an honor to end this challenge with you. So thank you everybody for watching, following me along. Um, I will see you next time on another review because I will continue my chocolate reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.